As the misinforming cinematic trailer shows you, the next game is League of Legends. To start with the story, League of Legends is an online MOBA that takes place in the world of Runeterra on the continent of Valoran. Two city-states, known as Damasi and Noxus, are constantly at war with each other, which is exactly why the League of Legends was created, in order to settle political disputes in areas known as the Fields of Justice. These include the Summer's Rift, the Twisted Trailing, and sadly, no longer the Crystal Scar, as it was removed three days ago. Each of these act as maps that you can play on with many of the in-game champions. Once you create an account, you can practice the tutorials, bot matches, or even jumping straight into PvP if you're feeling bold. Gameplay-wise, your goal is to win the game and have fun doing it. To win, you need to siege the enemy base by destroying enemy towers, inhibitors, and finally their nexus. You start by going through the matchmaking process through normal mode randoms and draft picks for the more casual players, or you can do ranked games, which are for the more competitive. Matchmaking can be tedious, because your champion may be banned or taken by an ally or foe. Each champion has their own kit of abilities, which include four active abilities and a passive. The abilities add enormous variety to the game, and end up fitting nearly everyone's playstyle, from healers to mage and even helping with tanks. Repetitiveness shouldn't have too much of an effect, because you'll be constantly trying out the 123 champions, with more to come in the future. The graphics of the game are great, and surprisingly easy to run for mob grade PCs. The main map, Summoner's Rift, had a large graphical update recently, making it easier to look at and adding more color to it. Each champion is also unique in the way they look, and ends up matching the champion's lore. The appeal of the game is immersive and alien in most, because it alerts you to certain events that happen in the game, such as a champion teleporting across the map, or the enemy slaying the dragon or baron which are both very important objectives in the game. Story-wise, the game can lack. Most of what I mentioned before was the story, and I had to look it up to know. The lore of certain champions can be ridiculous, such as Amumu's, which is only four lines of text, while Jin, the latest champion released, has a lore that is at least 14 times as long. League of Legends is great for people who like PvP and strategic games. Since the game is free to play, actual money can be spent through microtransactions, but is entirely optional. League of Legends may be very difficult to start, but you will slowly adapt if you continue playing. 